YouTube, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Luckalyn Maxis. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're coming back, welcome back. In this video, we're going to talk about how to know it's God's voice. So a lot of the times we are confused about if God is speaking to us or not. And I want to make this video to help somebody today um, to realize when it's God that is talking to you and... Sometimes it could be your feelings talking to you. Sometimes it could be the enemy talking to you. But this video, I will focus on God. When you know it's God talking to you. When you know it's God's voice. When you know it's God himself talking to you. So in the Bible, first let's talk about um, when something happens to you. Let's say one of your friends don't text you back. I know I'm guilty of this. When, when one of your friends doesn't text you back. There, there will be a little voice that tells you, oh, why are they not texting you back? Like, they must not think that you're important to them. That voice could be the enemy or that voice could be your feelings. That that voice could be a feeling of offense. Like, you're offended that they didn't text you back. You, you're you offended. You think that they don't think you're important to them. But that wouldn't be God's voice to tell you, oh, they're not texting you back. Maybe it's because they don't think you're important. God will never make you feel belittled. God will never make you feel like you're not important. So if you hear that voice, then you will know it's not God. Another example could be somebody did somebody does something to you that you didn't like. Somebody did something to you that got you that could have gotten you really angry. Instead, instead of reacting to that person in anger, there's a voice that's telling you, oh, curse at them, yell at them, let them know that they pissed you off. That voice is from the enemy. Because in the Bible, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 4, verses 4 through, verses 4 through 7, it says that love is patient, love is kind. Love is patient and love is kind. So that means if love is patient and love is kind, if somebody does something to you that pisses you off, you're you're not gonna go and yell at them. You're not gonna go and curse them out because if love is patient, then God will probably want you to be patient. God will probably will tell you, hey, be patient with this person. God will probably be like, be kind with this person. That's God's voice. The Bible says that God is the word. And John, I wanna find this. I didn't think of this verse before I made this video, but in the book of John, it says that in the beginning was the word, and the word was God. Okay, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Um, I want to focus on and the word was. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. I want to focus on, and the word was God. The word was God. The word, the Bible was God. So this Bible that I'm reading, the verses that I'm telling you right now, it's God. It's God. It's God. And so if you want to know if God is speaking to you, open up your Bible and see what it says about God. Okay, so in the Bible, we just read the word is God, right? John chapter 1, it says God is the word. Let's go to 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse, verses four, 4 through 7. It says, love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with truth. Love does not gossip that I'm going to love does not um, rejoice in evil. To me, that means love does not gossip. Love does not talk about something bad that's happening with somebody else, but rejoices with truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes and always perseveres. So this is talk, this verse is talking about love. The reason I brought this up talking about how to know it's God's voice is because God is love. In 1 John chapter 4, 16, it says God is love. So we have to come to know and to believe the love that God has for us. God is love. And whoever lives in love lives in God. And God lives in them. 
Galatians chapter 5, verses 22 through 23. This is the fruit of the Spirit. The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. What do all these have in common? Love, patience, joy, peace, gentleness, self-control, faithfulness. All these things, have they're all the same. They're all similar. Basically, how to know when it's God's voice is when it's patient. It's when it's kind. It's when it's loving. It's when you have self-control. You're able to stop yourself, calm yourself down, be peaceful, be patient, be kind, be loving. If you're not being loving, chances are that voice you're hearing is not from God. If you're hurt, sad, offended, that's not coming from God. If you're overthinking, stressing out, that's not coming from God because the fruit of the spirit is peace. So overthinking and stressing out, that's not from God. That voice is not coming from God. It's coming from the enemy. <clears throat> because the enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy. What verse is that? The enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy. So if you're here stressing out about stuff, and your joy has been stolen from you, has been taken from you. That's the enemy. That's not God. That verse is actually in John. The enemy comes to still, um, still kill and destroy. But God comes to give you life, life more abundantly. So. Yeah. It's John chapter 10. John chapter 10, verse, verse 10. John chapter 10, verse 10. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. The devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But God comes to give you life and life more abundantly. So if you feel really depressed, stressed out, not at peace, just know those things are not from God, it's from the devil. Because God gives you life more abundantly, life to the full, life to the fullest. He gives you peace. He gives you joy, love. How to know it's God's voice. God's voice is so clear. Sometimes we need to shut off all the noises around us just so we could hear God's voice clearly. You're stressed out. You're overwhelmed. You've been depressed. You've been going back and forth with your family members, arguing with them, arguing with people. You're overwhelmed. Take a break from all that and just sit quietly with God because God will settle you with his love. That's actually a verse too. God will settle you with his love. Open up your Bible. Read the word because that's how God is going to speak to you. Don't wait for somebody on YouTube to tell you what God is saying to you. Don't wait to go to sleep to have a dream. When you have the Bible right here, you could just open it, you know? God is love. God is patient, kind, you know, all these things. So remember... Look for those signs. Look for those characteristics when you hear a voice talk to you and to know it's God. And see if it's backed up by the Bible. Because the Bible says that the word is God. So, how to know it's God's voice is does it relate back to the Bible? And is it kind? Is it loving? Is it peaceful? Is it gentle? All that stuff. Don't listen to the enemy's voice telling you to do negative things, evil things, bad things. Listen to God telling you to do the patient things, loving things, kind, like the good things. There's light and there's darkness. There's good and then there's evil. I hope you are able to decipher between the two. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. And I hope you come back again in the next episode. Bye.